I've noticed that almost every time someone posts their experience after reaching 30, 60, 90 or more days, their reports are nothing but full of great, otherworldly transformations with experiences that are out of ordinary, and I'm starting to see a problem here. I have no doubts that most of them are true experiences, but the problem is that these kind of experiences are being started to be reported so frequently that they are starting to be seen as the norm. That is the problem. You see, I've rarely seen reports of people that after 30 days have felt next to nothing in changes and have sincerely expressed their concern as why they are not having similar experiences and even wonder if they are broken or if they are doing something wrong. The reason as why some people have it harder than others is simply for the same reason as why some people can quickly quit smoking while struggling with other substances, or why people who quit sugar don't feel much of a withdrawal symptom. Because each individual's circumstances are so unique that their level of struggle will widely vary. I'll give you a simple example. Some people are mentally and even genetically more sensitive to getting benefits from certain activities. Proof of that is the practice of weightlifting, where if you give 10 people the exact same routine and food regime, you will still end up with widely different results because some of them were more genetically predisposed to gain muscle or enjoyed the process a lot more while others found it very struggling. My theory is that there is no reason to believe that SR is any different and results vary from individual to individual regardless of how well they do it. SR is hard and it is definitely not a walk where every day gets better and you get an euphoric rush in an almost daily basis at least not for most of us I can bet. This practice is not for anyone, because quitting sex is like quitting sugar. You will get enormous benefits, but now without going through some very rough times where you wonder if it's really worth it, we should be more aware and be conscious of the hardships that many of us are dealing with, and that the benefits won't just automatically come and fix your problems. That's like believing as soon as I hit 30 days at the gym and get all ripped, I'll be happy and free of mental issues and be a superhuman. You still have to do the work on other areas. Man, this dangerous perception that being on a runner's high on an almost daily basis can be detrimental to those who are not experiencing it especially because they won't report anything like that out of self-pity. Please, don't get me wrong. I don't mean to discredit nor invalidate anyone's positive experience. What I'm trying to take into light is that this journey can also be hard, and maybe some retainer is going through the same, but is ashamed to admit it. I'm sure that the average retainer is experiencing like self-doubt, feelings of hopelessness, intense sadness or anger, a huge sense of solitude, feeling really lost, the dread or fear of being alone forever, questioning if this is even worth it. As to why some journeys haven't been all but euphoria like some would expect, I have the impression that it all depends on how many mental and emotional issues you've been carrying or are dealing with. A normal 25 yogi will have definitely a very different experience than a 35 yogi who has ADHD and has deal with depression and high levels of anxiety. So, my advice to those who have been having a very hard time during retention and wonder why they aren't feeling like kings after 30 days, don't feel bad if you don't experience the same results as others reported. It only means there are layers in emotional psyche that need to come out. You need to confront those feelings, which are like going through a dark tunnel. At the end, you'll see the light. But especially, don't get too focused on whether or not you're getting the benefits, because paradoxically, you may be neglecting other activities that actually make you feel good while feeling bad for not feeling good. Last, don't regard this journey as a competition about who gets the most benefits or the most otherworldly transformation in life. Keep retaining, but more importantly, have objectives and if possible, define your mission or engage in a project. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it is helping you on your journey. Please like, subscribe and comment down below if you like the video. Good luck with your journey.